When it comes to kids' tablets, Amazon Fire Kids tablets are hard to beat. From parental controls to the two-year worry-free guarantee that they come with, these tablets are designed with children in mind. But Amazon did something a little different this year. They made two versions of their all new Fire HD 10 kids tablet. There's a standard version, regular version that we're used to, but now there's a Fire HD 10 kids pro tablet. Well, I have the pro version here and let's talk about it. Let's see what the difference between the pro version and the standard kids edition tablets are. And let's see if the pro version might be right for your child. Hey guys, welcome to Retether Tech. My name is Jonathan and this is Tech for Parents. So this is the Amazon Fire HD 10 Kids Pro Tablet. Yes, long name. You can find it on Amazon for $200, but let's start with the unboxing and let's see what you get inside the box. It comes with a typical Amazon Fire tablet orange box that we're used to. Inside the box, we have the Fire HD 10 tablet and it's already inside the slim kids proof case that it comes with. This is the intergalactic color case, which has kind of a space theme picture on the back. You can also get it in a purple doodle case, a black case and a sky blue case. The tablet itself is black. There's no different colors when it comes to the tablet. The case has a built-in kickstand, which is always great to have, especially for children. And the kickstand on this slim kids pro case feels a lot sturdier and easier to open up than the previous Fire Kids tablet cases. Of course, you have the Amazon logo on the back. And this case is definitely slimmer than the regular Fire Kids Edition tablet cases. It's definitely not gonna take a fall as good as the other cases would. Inside the box, you also get a nine watt charging brick, as well as a USB type C to USB type A cable and an instruction manual. And that's really everything you get inside the box. Now inside the case is just a regular Fire HD 10 tablet. This is the 2021 version, which has one more gig of RAM, slightly brighter display and a slightly different design when compared to the previous 2019 version of the Fire HD 10. The bezels on the display are slightly smaller and uniform all the way around. It just looks like a more modern tablet than the previous version. You have two speakers up front, and this is really pretty much a generic plastic tablet. Nothing special, no metal or glass on the back, which is actually just fine for a kid's tablet. That's kind of what you want. If we put the tablet back inside the case, we can see that the front has those slots so that the sound from the speakers comes straight at you. It kind of projects that audio to you instead of to the sides, which is nice to have. On the right hand side, we have the volume up and down buttons, a power button, a couple of openings for the mics, a USB type C charging port and a headphone jack. Now in reality, this tablet is just a 2020 Fire HD 10 tablet, but let's talk about what you get with the kids edition, what the differences between the regular and the pro versions are, and hopefully this will help you decide if these kids edition tablets are something right for your child. Amazon sells the all new Fire HD 10 tablet for $150, but that's the ad supported version, which means Amazon will throw ads onto your lock screen, but there's also an ad free version, which costs $165, so $15 more. And that's the version that comes with the Fire HD 10 kids tablet pro version and the regular standard version as well. It's the ad free version with 32 gigabytes of storage. That's the tablet you're getting with this kids edition package. With the kids edition, you also get a kids proof case like this one we have here, a two year worry free guarantee, which is kind of like an insurance plan. If your child happens to break this tablet, you can return it to Amazon and get a replacement tablet for your child. And you also get one year of Amazon Kids Plus, which used to be called Free Time Unlimited. Amazon changed it to Amazon Kids Plus now. And it's loaded with kid appropriate content that you can filter between age ranges. Amazon says there's over 20,000 apps, games, videos, books, and educational content inside this application. So you get one year of that Amazon Kids Plus, which normally costs $99 for a non-Prime member and $69 a year for Prime members. And that's really why these Amazon Fire Kids tablets are such a good value. You get the Fire HD 10 tablet, which costs already by itself $165. A case, which normally costs $35 if you were to buy it separately. You also get Amazon's two-year worry-free guarantee, which a similar plan costs about $25. 
and one year of Amazon Kids Plus, which can cost you up to $100. You get all of those things for only $200. So you can really see the value. It's almost like not worth getting the regular tablet. It's better to pay an extra, what, 35 bucks and get all these things that come with the Fire HD 10 Kids Edition tablets because you still get the tablet itself. If you wanna use it like a regular Fire tablet, you can, but you also have all these add-ons for children. So if you ever wanna hand this over to your child, let's say this tablet is for you and you just wanna give it to your child whenever they wanna use it, you can just slap on this case and you have that protection on it as well. So it's kind of a no-brainer to go with these Kids Edition packages that Amazon sells. Now, what's the difference between the Fire HD 10 Kids, the regular version, and the Fire HD 10 Kids Pro version, which I have here? Well, they both cost $200. You're getting the same tablet, but really the main difference is one's designed for younger children and the other one's designed for older children. Amazon says that the regular Fire Kids tablet is for ages three to seven, and the Pro version is for kids six to 12. Amazon says that the Pro Kids tablet has content for kids ages six to 12. Now, in my testing, I was able to change the age limit so that the content inside Amazon Kids Plus was for children younger than seven. So I'm not really sure why Amazon says that the content inside this tablet is for children in a specific age range when you can easily go into the settings and change it and have it for younger children as well. But the differences I did notice when it came to the standard and the pro version is first off the case. This is a slimmer case. It's a nicer looking case. It has a design that maybe older children would appreciate. And I think they would appreciate just a better looking case than the thick, safer case that the regular kids version gets. Now the second difference is the UI, the user interface for the Kids Pro tablet. It looks like it's designed for older kids. It looks just nicer and more modern. It looks more like the Fire OS user interface and not so much like the kids UI that the other kids tablets from previous years or even the current versions have now, which I assume older kids would appreciate. The kids pro version also has an app store inside the user interface where the kids can browse apps and games and they can request approval to download those applications or purchase a game from their parent. And finally, the last thing that I noticed that's different between the pro version and the standard kids edition tablet is that the browser is just a little bit more open. It still has filters to protect your child and you as a parent can add more restrictions, but instead of coming with just a handful of sites to go to like the other kids edition tablets have, this one gives you a little bit more freedom. It gives a child a little bit more freedom to kind of search websites that are still appropriate for them, but they're not just restricted to a certain amount or a list specifically for children. So yeah, all these things, I think an older child or as Amazon puts it, school age kids would appreciate. Now the tablet still has all those parental controls that you as a parent would like to have for your child's tablet. When you first start up the device, it's gonna have you sign into your Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, you're gonna need to create one. You don't need to have Amazon Prime or pay for Amazon Prime membership to use this tablet, but you will need an Amazon account. After that, you'll go ahead and activate the Amazon Kids Plus membership, create a parental pin or password, and then create a profile for your child. Once that's complete, you can easily go into your child's profile either on the lock screen or at the notification shade. If you wanna go back into your profile, the adult profile, you can go to the profiles at the notification shade, enter the pin you created, and you're back in the regular Fire Tablet interface. Here you can do anything you would do on a regular Fire Tablet. So you can pretty much use this as a regular Fire Tablet. If you go to the Amazon Kids app, here you can change any of the parental controls. When you go into the settings for your child's profile, you can set daily goals and time limits. So for example, if you wanna set a bedtime so that your child can't use this tablet during that time when they're supposed to be sleeping, you can go into the settings and set that bedtime for them so they won't be able to use that tablet or this tablet during those hours of the day. You can also set a total screen time limit. So for example, let's say you want just three hours for your child. That's the amount of time that they can use their tablet in one day. Once they reach the, those three hours, they won't be able to use a tablet anymore unless you enter your parental pin or your password or until the next day when that time limit resets. There's also this educational goal setting where you can enter an amount of time you want your child spending on educational activities. For example, maybe you want them reading for one hour a day or watching educational videos for at least one hour in one day. 
It will keep track of all those goals and you can even select the learn first option, which will block off all the other applications until your child meets those educational goals, which I thought is actually a really cool and smart feature that Amazon built in to the Amazon Kids application as well. Some other settings found in the app are age filters where you can put the age range of your child so they can only see content suitable for their age group. You can also go to add content where you can add apps, videos, games, and more to your child's profile and give them access to it. For example, maybe you want to allow them to use Disney Plus or play Roblox while they're inside their profile. You can add it here and they'll have access to those applications. If you scroll down more, you have the ability to restrict your child's web browser. You can limit or restrict certain content or even view your child's web history. There's a lot of cool features built into these parental controls and honestly, I would take the time, if you're planning on buying this tablet, I would go through all of these settings, all of these features, understand what each one does. That way you can kind of tailor it to your child and make sure that what they're doing on their tablet, they're safe and they're not seeing things that they shouldn't. Once that's all done, you can select their profile and your kid's ready to go. Amazon Kids Plus has a lot of content available. You have games, books, videos, TV shows. Your child even has the ability to make video or audio calls using the tablet to approve contacts only, which is also really cool that Amazon built this in to the tablet as well. This tablet performs really well. Your child's not gonna have any problems playing games, watching videos, pretty much anything your child does on this tablet, it's gonna perform great at. Amazon says you can get up to 12 hours of battery life, so it does have pretty good battery life, I would say. For a budget tablet, it performs good when it comes to battery life as well. It comes with a 10.1 inch 1920 by 1200 resolution display. It's a really nice display, it gets plenty bright and with the dual speakers, this is actually really nice to watch content with. Now, the audio does kind of sound muffled at loud volumes, but the speakers do get plenty loud. And if you prefer to have maybe a quiet environment, you can connect some headphones to the headphone jack and your child can listen that way. Look, in the end, this tablet has everything you're gonna want from a kid's tablet. It's inexpensive and that's a good thing because let's face it, kids break things. And even if they do, you can set it to Amazon and get a free replacement, which is always nice to have. You're gonna have plenty of content for your child, but keep in mind, you're not gonna find Google applications on here like YouTube and YouTube Kids. Since Amazon wants you to use the Amazon App Store and not the Google Play Store, those applications aren't gonna be found here. Now there's some third-party web-based applications that actually work pretty well, and they can work as a YouTube slash YouTube Kids replacement. So it's not the end of the world that those applications aren't on here because you can still have access to that content, but it would have been nice to have the official application, but I guess it's better than nothing. Other than that, this tablet is great. And I definitely recommend, if you're looking to get your child a tablet, definitely go with the Amazon Fire Kids tablets, especially the Fire HD 10. This one performs really well, has a nice bright display, and especially if it's for an older child, this is a good option. It's gonna help them with school, help them with educational purposes. It's an all around great tablet, and you have those parental controls built in to kind of monitor what your child is doing and keep them safe from things on the internet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.